And uh, also, you don't get any of these sort of these games on the Xbox 360. It's like the only one available. It's a nice tribute to the so, director as well. Yes, and here's a nice swan song for him there. God speed it, Agati. Yeah. Anyhow, next up is Monster Jam, the monster truck game we've all been waiting centuries for. I am. So crash your way through this. I must admit, as a fat person, I was disappointed to find out that Monster Jam was not a bulk box of jam from strawberry flavour. Yeah, Monster Jaw Strawberries. Monster Strawberries, yeah, about that big. Again. Yeah, well, basically, this is a the Monster Truck game zone if you're a yeah. Monster Truck fan. Well, it's got the only, the actually. officially licensed uh, trucks as well, hasn't it? Big foot. It's got big foot in it oh, for yeah. some reason. But, but it's got Grave Digger. What a name, yeah. Grave Digger. Everybody's favourite. Truck. And uh, basically, bigger. you get to race around different sort of tracks, just sort of like Motorstorm. Really, this reminds me of this. It's it really much storm. It's very Motorstorm. Uh, you know, it makes a bit flat out, but put monster trucks in it. And monster trucks. Yeah. I, I actually, I must admit, I really enjoyed this game. <laughs> don't, 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 it's one of those games yeah. that you just you yeah. can't be bothered. You can't. You just want to. Turn you don't your need brain. to think. Yeah, you just turn your brain. Yeah. If you had a hard day at work, well, you or could do that with Motorstorm. I'm out. talking. Oh, uh, you had a hard day at work or school, or something. You just want to play a game. You just want to don't, don't think anything about it. You just want to play. Just go muck about and yeah. have fun. Yeah. And that. Uh, and this is just well, a great game for that. It's just an upfront arcadey title, well, and it's. I really enjoyed it. Now, Larry, Larry's a bit delusional. Basically, what I'd say is, uh, if I was you. Um, um, I'd go out and buy a Motorstorm if you got a PS3. If you're looking for something on the yeah, 360, well, get flat out. Uh, let me finish. Okay. Right. Uh, and basically, th there are different type of modes in this, though, isn't it? This is sort of, sort of stunt mode, yeah, which is, is nice. Yeah, this is a thing that it does sort of famous for driving yeah. over old uh, cars old and, that. and doing flips and stuff. I mean, at least it won't cause too much damage to his vehicle, and it's something you can easily fix, isn't it? Yes. I mean, apparently, uh, they're about 5.5 feet, the tyres of a monster truck, yeah. about as tall as me. And did you know they have so much air in them, they can actually float on water? <laughs> well, he's going to say floats to the moon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, Jesus lighter. trucks. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, the, the games are, like I said, I really would go for Motorstorm if you're looking for something sort of yeah, racy or flat but out, which does demolition sort of stuff. Yeah, but it's a 360 games and a budget title as well. Yeah, well, that's the good thing about this game, I think, is the fact that it is a budget title, because if it wasn't a budget title, I, you know, I'd, uh, I'd be crushing this with my own monster truck. Would you? That's well, that's I don't know. Cool. Like, uh, this game came out about six months ago in America. I, I actually bought it then, I must admit that, and I've been playing it. I did enjoy it a lot. Uh, and uh, basically, you, you know, this is one of the levels, uh, the racing modes of the game, I you mean, can actually... Uh, I mean, I, I, I th my problem with these is the monster trucks don't look that big. I mean, you know, you want to see a monster truck, you want to see a bit nice big. Yeah, I mean, the cars look tiny little, like, yeah, the you know, micro machines. Yeah, but something. if you have them too big, you can't see the rest of the screen and that. I mean, yeah, you have to but, have a compromise there. Yeah. yeah, but I, and I have problems with frame, Not that you know what compromise right? means. Like, it's all you, it's all me, me, me. me. Yeah. It, it, I don't like a, this game because it's got monster trucks in it. Well, it's not good, I don't like it because it's got storm. Mo the motor storms. Are a good game, I, I'd rather my PlayStation 3 exclusive title. It's a good. It's a good title. It's a good title. What are you going to give this, anyhow? Well, um, I'm going to give this game um, a grand total of two out of five. I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, if, like I said, if, if you want a monster truck game, I'd kind of give something like Excite Truck though. That's more fun and arcadey. Yes, but it's not out on the 360. Uh, I'd say uh, I'm going to give this a three out of five. Uh, it's a great game. Uh, it's if just it's so great. Why are you giving it a three? A cheap arcade. Just to buy yourself. It's a very high three. You go got my back on that. It's, it's like a great, it's a great arcade title. It's cheap, and if you want five minutes, have yeah. five minutes. Uh, anyway. Anyway, we can have a look at the scores for today's yes. episode. Let's have a look. Um, oh look, Ninja Gaiden got a seven. Yes, um, race Driver Grid sort yes. of seven. Um, That's not a bad score. I mean, maybe Race Driver Grid is a bit better than that, but it's, it's yeah. a good game. It's not. Yeah, a bad Hayes game. got a five as well as Monster Jam. Oh well, maybe we're being so a bit would generous. Would you, would you about say that Monster Jam is as good as Hayes? Justify <laughs> yourself. No, I'd probably say that um, Hayes is worse actually. Really? Uh, slightly, so, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it, especially the money they threw yes, at it, and it's not budget. Uh, let's see how they compared on today's. Score for well, the rest of the series yeah, so that's far. Right. Okay, Grand Theft Auto 4, not it's going to be anywhere. a rare for all. It's yeah. going to be allowed to some silly damage. Uh, Ninja Gaiden's got its way in there, mainly due to the fact that it's got an N in its name, which means that's, yeah. why, it, so that's go, why it beats Race Driver Grid. If, if I'd have just written Grid, then that would have got in there, but yes. otherwise. 
So yeah, it's, it's, it's quite yeah, a nice, it's quite, it's quite nice sitting at the bottom. I would say. Should we have, should we have a look at some of the emails that yes, we've got? Yes, we actually. Recently? If you we remember last week, we uh, put some. Uh, I should send you some emails from us to us, emails. obviously. And uh, um, yes, if you're fancy writing some more, it's X League. Uh, no, it's not. It's review at xleague.tv. That's the one. Okay, let's have a look at. Can, I, can I say well, th this one? Oh, I consider really like it. Said our dear ways on Larry. This is from uh, Joe Dawson, and it says uh, Larry should grow a beard. Uh, he would suit it. What do you think you'd like? Would you like a beard, Larry? Would you? Would you grow a beard? I nice big long beard. I, just, I hate fat bloke beards. To me, I, well, I just <laughs> look awful. Beards. Yeah, I look like, I look like Jeremy Spate from uh, Airport, oh. really. Uh, yeah, here's easy. another one. This one's from uh, Lisa Har Harrison. Uh, it says, Where's Larry? You guy are very funny. I'd like to tell you what I just did. So there, that's it. Uh, P.S. Larry, you. you're not fat, just husky. Thank you. Oh, a nice husky. Yeah, you're a dog. Comparing com me to an Eskimo <laughs> dog. Yeah, so lovely. thanks very much for that. And, uh, so, stop showing the retro corners on the chart uh, that repeats of that. Uh, that's because we're showing them because we're yeah. actually working on some new, new top, top tens, tens, of course. Episodes. Which this one's about from uh, Charlie Simpson, who says, uh, Hey, Wes and Larry, if you do any more top ten shows, you should do uh, the top ten RPGs just to make sure you put Fable in there. Yes. Oh, I'll laugh out loud. Yes. Lovely stuff. Uh, we probably would put Fable in there, but in the honourable mentions because yeah. it's not very good. Top 10 rocket propelled grenades. Yeah, well, all Fantastic that. Fantastic. I, I mean, yeah, I quite like Fable. Uh, Do you like Fable? What? Fable's all right. Mm, all right. Uh, this one is from... Uh, Osin Hall, oh, from Albert Wasker, apparently. Albert, oh, oh, Albert okay. Wasker. He says, uh, love the show, but I want to know something. When playing DQ Source, is there music from DQ8 in the game? Uh, we had a look up for this. Uh, there is a soundtrack that contains uh, the uh, music from Dragon Quest VIII, but I'm not completely sure if it's in the game itself. Well, there you There's go, that's it. Do, do email us if you've got any questions. Uh, um, I've been Wes. I've been Larry. And uh, we'll see you uh, on the next episode of um, Review Mageddon, yes. which hopefully we'll be reviewing what? Uh, hopefully we'll be looking at rock band and hopefully really? something yeah. And hopefully. Metal Gear Solid 4 maybe. Yes. So see you in two weeks. Bye bye. Goodbye and good gaming. This has been a Portland Interactive production for X League.